Hello. It is uh, October the 9th, 2021. The beautiful Cape Girardeau Public Library. Dr. Seuss books in here. We can find some books on witchcraft. We can find books on engineering. There's a lot of stuff in here. But specifically what we're going to look at today is the teens room, which is designed for ages 12 through 18. And there are signs stating that we need to respect their space. And we're going to have a walk around in the teens room. Let's go over here and get a couple books, shall we? Let's see. How about we, we try this one? How about we try this one? How about we try this one? And how about we look at this one? This is our first book we're going to look at. This book is Gay by James Dawson. It is the ins and outs of being gay. Here is uh, part one, boy sex. So, Part one, boy on boy sex. Can you see that right there? They go through and they talk about the lips. You should always start by kissing. The nipples. A lot of guys like their nipples being played with. Neck, ears. These sensitive areas love to be kissed and licked. Here's skin. Here's the penis. Here's the testicles, also to be treated with loving care. It says a bloke. Boy on boy sex. Doing sex, what kind of sex can we have? What kind of sex can boys have? Well, there's handies. Perhaps the most important skill you will master as a gay or bi man is the timeless classic, the hand job. Good handy, bad handies. It tells you how to do it. Blowies. This is great. Oral sex is popping another dude's peen in your mouth or indeed popping yours in his. There is only one hard fast rule when it comes to blowjobs. Watch the teeth. Lips and tongue, yes. Teeth, no. Letting a guy come in your mouth. Get away from the volcano before it explodes. Bumming. Well, in the absence of a vagina, gay and bi men make excellent use of the back door. Pre-care. Gotta have some pre-care. A pleasant as bumming can be, we must hold in mind that primary functions of the passage is to do poo-poos. Poo-poo is not sexy. Therefore, those of you planning to have anal sex will need to dedicate a portion of time to ensuring poo doesn't creep into your sexy fun time. Here's a list of all the positions that boys can have sex. A little chart. Rolls. Dude and dude pairings. Can get tricky. Have to discuss who's on top and who's on bottom. Sure to use spit to put on your penis before you enter another man's body. Uh, we're doing it broke back mountain style. Part two, girl on girl sex. What exactly is that? We're going to explain the clitoris. We're going to explain the anus. We're going to explain lips, skin. Isn't that nice. Doing the sex. Fingers, oral. The clitoris does like being licked. Toys and strap ons. Toys, dildos, and strap-ons are fill the same purpose. Let's take a look at this one. The V word. Hmm. This is pretty interesting. I wonder what's in here. This is chapter two. It gets down here and discussing her boyfriend. And then right here she says, When he pushed his dick into me, it didn't hurt. We had a condom. And I wasn't surprised. He was slow, I was ready, and we had agreed to do this. What age groups are allowed in this classroom? 12 to 18? It was the first time I'd ever made anyone moan or someone moan. I felt capable, powerful. That's the V word by Amber 
Keezer. Dating and relationships. I'm not a lesbian, but my girlfriend is. Queer dating. Question and answer. It's natural to have lots of questions and confessions as you are entering the queer dating scene. Most likely, a lot of what you've learned is probably modeled after heterosexual binary, boy-girl dating. So what happens if it's a boy-boy or girl-girl are totally outside the gender binary? Here are some common questions and answers. And here's a book called Doing It by Hannah Witten. Here's a little story from Juno Dawson on being transgender. Story from Riley Dennis on dating while trans. Here's one from Raleigh on being gender fluid. Difficult of dating a queer woman. Here's Alana Fender writing on being bisexual. And basically, from what I can tell, is most of this seems to be very pro transgender and homosexual. Again, this is teen section. Cave Girardo. Now, do you see anybody checking IDs coming to this building? I don't see anybody at all. The youth new books are right over there. So what's to keep a five-year-old from coming over to this section and picking out one of these books to learn how boys have sex?